welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today in this video, I will tell you how to start the Cessna 172 from the cold and dark state. In Microsoft Flight Simulator, this plane has got two variants. One is equipped with the Garmin 530 and 430 and the other one is equipped with 1000 which is also known as G1000. Uh, so right now, uh, this is the plane that I'm using uh, which has Garmin 530 and 430 in it. And uh, I will just tell you how to start this plane from the cold and dark state. And obviously the other one is almost the same. There is no difference. Only maybe one little thing that you have to do uh, during the starter procedure. But it's almost the same. So uh, before you start this plane, just make sure that the parking brake is engaged. Otherwise, if you'll start the plane or the engine, um, the plane will start moving. So get rid of the yoke by clicking it. And then you will see this lever for the parking brake. Uh, just... Uh, Click it and you will see the rudder paddles, both of them being pushed in. It means that the parking brake is now engaged. Then you have the fuel selector. It's in the middle. It means that, that the fuel will be burned from both of the wings. If I move it towards the right side, then the fuel will be burned only from the right wing. And similarly, like this for the left wing. You keep it in the middle so that there is no disbalance uh, in the plane during the flight because if the fuel is only burned from one wing, then obviously the plane will be tilted towards the other side. So that's why I just keep it in the middle. And uh, then you have a fuel shut off uh, valve. Uh, right now it's pulled out. If you press it, it's pushed all the way in. <laughs> there is this wire coming in. You cannot see it. Otherwise, just if, if you don't see it, just uh, move your cursor over here. If you see the hand, just pull it out. It's off. And uh, once you push it in, uh, the fuel shut off valve is now open. And uh, the fuel will flow towards the engine. Now what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to make sure uh, that the fuel mixture is um, rich. Uh, this is the lever for the fuel mixture. Just uh, push it in all the way back. If it's pulled out, the plane will not start. So just push it all the way in. And uh, for the throttle, uh, just uh, push it in a bit, but give a throttle by 25% and that's it. Now it's uh, time to turn on the battery and the alternator. Uh, battery is obviously the battery which powers up the plane and alternator is a device which actually takes uh, the mechanical power of the engine, converts it into kinetic energy and charges the battery. So turn on the battery and the alternator and now you will see there is power in the plane. Now with this, uh, before I start the engine, just uh, turn on the beacon. Let me just jump out of the plane and uh, let me just show you what's a beacon. You will see this red light blinking on the tail. This is actually a beacon which tells the ground staff that you're going to start the engine. Then you have uh, the nav light. Just turn it on also. The nav lights actually are at the wing tips. You will see a green light over here on the right side and red light on the left side. So if any other plane is looking at this plane in the night, especially in the night, it will if it sees a green light, it knows that the plane is going towards its right side. And if any other plane looks at this plane from this side and sees a red light, it means that the plane is going towards the left side. And now uh, you have see the ski, so move it all the way to the right. And that's it. The engine is now up and running. You can see um, RPM is below 1000. So once you start the engines, just make sure that the RPM is below 1000. Now uh, you have to turn on the avionics, the GPS system. So these are the switches for the avionics. As soon as you turn them on, you will see that the avionics are now up. Just wait for it a little bit. It will take some time. All the information is getting loaded. And that's it. Uh, so just press enter two times and now you have your GPS working. So that's how you start this plane from the cold and dark state. Now I'm going to uh, use uh, the Cessna 172 with G1000. So I will just start that plane from the cold and dark stage just to show you that there is no difference in it. Now this is the cockpit for Cessna 172 with G1000 and you can see some big screens. 
Um, again, uh, just make sure that the parking brake is engaged. And as you can see that it's engaged. And uh, the fuel selector is in the middle. Uh, the fuel shut off uh, valve is already pushed in. No need to do anything. And uh, the fuel mixture is also rich. Pushed all the way in. Uh, just give a little bit of throttle. And uh, turn on the battery and the alternator. And then you will have some power in the plane. That's good. Now what you can do is this. You can uh, just uh, move this button. This is the only difference that you have in the starter procedure. And uh, you can just uh, t um, uh, turn on the switch for like 2-3 seconds. And you can just turn it off. Now turn on the beacon and the nav light. And then just move the key all the way to the right. And uh, the plane is up. It's running. And that's it. And just turn on the avionics. And that's it. So now the plane is up and running. And that's how you start uh, the plane. Just uh, press enter. And uh, that's it. Now you will see both the screens are up and running. I'm making uh, these videos for um, Cessna 152 and 172 before the launch of the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 because I just uh, wanted the beginners to practice these planes before the launch of the new simulator so that you can easily fly these planes around in uh, the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. If you've got any questions, the comment section is there for you. Or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.